Hello guys, this is Prowler here. Well, I'm doing. I've been looking on the internet because I started playing Farming Simulator 2015, as you can probably tell by the game that I'm on. Uh, and I've noticed that uh, I was trying to look for a few tutorials to figure out a few things that I couldn't quite grasp. But there doesn't seem to be a lot of them out there for 2015, anyway. So I've had to go back and look at previous ones. For the 2013 was mostly the one that I saw. Oh, I don't know why we're stuck in there. Um, and try and figure it out from there. So I thought I'm gonna go. What I'll do is I'll make a few tutorials on different things that I've figured out or managed to see how to do from older videos, uh, and just put them up for people to watch in case they uh, feel like they need to do it. So the first video here is gonna be how to get the cows to, well, I suppose 100% productivity or just just how to maintain them in general. Uh, so if we go onto here. We can go across and we can see, I currently have, well, it's bugged at the moment, sometimes it goes to zero, sometimes it goes to 100, but it's at 100%, uh, so it'll be producing liquid manure, manure, and milk. Uh, the milk is taken away automatically when it gets to about 10,000, I think, and it's sold, so you just get money. Uh, the liquid manure you've got to pick up in a tank, and the manure you've got to pick up with a... Um, I don't know what they're called. It's, uh, it's an attachment for a tractor. Oh, what's it called? How can I not remember the name? There you go, a universal bucket. How can I not remember that? Uh, and then shovel it into a trailer. Okay. So, if we go back onto the cow productivity, you'll see here that you've got different feedings. You've got feeding through mixed rations, feeding through silage, feeding through grass, and then you've got straw. Uh, to get to 100% productivity, you don't need the grass and silage. As you can see here, I was trying to play around. I've had to get it up to 100% before I figured it out. Um, so if you want to get 100%, all you need to do is give them mixed rations, which I'll show you how to do, uh, and then straw, which uh, gets you the manure, which gets you to 100%. So what you do is uh, you can either buy one of these. I didn't start out with one of these. I had to save up some money to buy this. Uh, let me just show what this is. If we go into feeding technologies, this is this. So you don't need that, to be honest. Uh, you can always use this, which is what I started out using. Uh, and basically it mixes the free ingredients for food. So what you need here is you need silage, you need grass, and you need straw. So what you do is if we jump into, say, this tractor here. We go around here. So this is where you put, this is where you make the silage. Uh, I've only got a little bit left, fifteen thousand. Uh, I think it goes up to. Oh, I don't know. I don't know actually. I've never actually fully filled it, but it gets quite a bit in there. Uh, and then you drive over it, back and forwards. <coughs> so what you put in here is grass. Just cut grass straight off of a wherever, and you just roll up and down in it, and it'll sell you the compression rate. Once it gets to one hundred percent. Uh, it will offer you a blanket to put a blanket on it. Uh, you put the blanket on and then you leave it over time. Uh, the grass ferments and turns into silage. Then you pick that up with the universal. Uh, you can even pick it up with it if you've got the. If you've got this, the profile, uh, you will need to pick it up with a universal bucket and put it into there. I will explain what you need for the universal bucket and all that in a minute. Uh, and then you'll also need to pick up straw now if I go around here this is how I've been getting the grass as you can see it's full of grass there so all this is is if we go on to loading wagons is this it costs 27,000 it's the Euroboss 330T uh, it can pick up these various items grass straw and other stuff I only use it for grass and obviously you need a mower you've got the dual mower You've got the, the front mower, or you've got uh, this. I've never used this, to be honest. I went for this, because it's only, it's only a few thousand more. So I just saved up and got that. And I've been using that. Uh, you don't have to have a field of grass. So you, there is an option to, if you've got a seal, you can plant grass in it. Uh, I did try that out, but it kind of it messes up the field. Because to be able to get the field back so you can plant on it again with something that's not grass, you have to use a plough and you have to create the field again which is a, a different option that a plough can use because it can do 
it can cultivate the ground or it can create the ground bigger so if I went to, for instance if I enabled the mode for a plow and I drove around this edge bit here around the field it would extend this field so this bit that I'm going over would make the would become part of this field um, which is a pain but you, what you can do is what I've been doing is I've got this big grass patch here that goes around my field over here uh, I've just been mowing this and then you don't have to do this but I've been using this which we'll have a look at again it is further down I think maybe not oh it's a widower's that's it uh, it's the bigger one of these you don't have to use this but basically what it does is it throws it all into a straight line so you can pick it up otherwise it's just grass all grass where you've cut which doesn't so you don't need that you can just go over it with this and pick it up it just means you have to go back and forward a couple more times so what you do is you pick all this up pretty attached to it there we go and you get grass as you can see there it's a little grass symbol and I've got 16,000 of whatever that unit is I still haven't figured out how to uh, so what you would do is you would come over here and just I don't know now, as you can see, I've already got silage in here. I don't know if this is a bug at the moment, but if you pour grass into already silage, it just gives you more silage. So I'll put a bit in there now. So now I'm up to 22,000 silage when I just put grass on it. Um, so yeah, you've only got to really do it once as long as you leave a little bit in there and you can keep topping it up with plain grass. It goes straight to silage at the moment anyway. They may patch it, may not, don't know, or maybe it's an intended feature. Um, and then... What you all, uh, what you're also going to need it for, uh, not also to make silage, but also to go in the mixture for the cows. So you will need to mow the grass. You're going to attach it, uh, and then you're going to need to. Oh, I forgot that it makes you pivot the front. Uh, you're also going to need to tether, te uh, tether the grass. Tether, tether, one of them. If we go, not quite aligned. There we go. So what I do is I attach the mower to the front and the tether to the back. And I spin around. I go to my grass section here. I will unfold my tether and also lower my mower. Now you click G to switch between your different tools. So if I go back to the tether, I'll turn it on. Go back to the mower, I'll turn it on. And then what you do, what I do, to make it easier, is I mow the grass and it automatically starts tipping it over like that. Which turns it into dry grass, which is what you have to pick up to be able to use in the mix. You can't just use grass as far as I'm aware. Which, um, you need to turn it into bales to be able to put it in but I haven't found a tool that can put it into the mixer just as grass yet it probably is but I don't know so if I turn around turn all these off fold it back up and put them back You don't have to put them in, this is just the fault. Might as well, it's there. Chuck all my stuff in there and align so it's easy to get. Okay, so once you've created your grass, uh, your straw, or your dried out grass, obviously I'll do the whole field at the moment. I've only, for this demonstration, I'm only doing this. Uh, now, again, you don't have to, but you can use that to put it all into a line, which makes it quicker to pick up with a bale up, but you don't have to, you can just leave it as a field of turn up grass. And then what you need to do is there are two balers. Uh, I've got, I think this is the first one here. Yeah, this one. Uh, this turns it into the rectangular little bales that you could see. Uh, and this one turns them into like kind of circles, cylinders. Uh, I do prefer this one because they're easier to pick up with a fork, with the fork attachment. So if we go here. Uh, this tractor is just powerful enough. I actually have a bigger tractor to uh, 
that I use. But this one is just just got the power requirements to do it. It does go a little slow when it's running, but it does what it needs to do. So as you can see, I've already got almost a full bale in here. So if we go ahead and unfold the baler, lower the pickup, turn the baler on. As you can see, going a little slow, picks up eventually, but it takes a minute, and it will just pick up the grass. Now obviously I've wrecked the bale that was in there because the bale I had in there was straw. Obviously we just turn off the bale and fold it back up. And that will spit out little rectangular bales. Actually we can do it here right now. This is probably going to kick out a grass one even though I had mostly straw in there before. Here it is. That's fine though. There you go. There's a straw bale that can actually help to show you the next bit. So if I just leave that there for now and switch over to my forklift truck now you don't actually have to buy this um, oh yeah I wanted to show you the mixer actually didn't I? not the mixer, the um, how to get the but universal bucket I'll drive back down here I think I'll put it back here I can't quite remember where I put it where did I leave it at the other farm? Ah, oh, it keeps going in there. Let's get on my nerves. Yeah, because I usually leave it here. And for some reason, <laughs> whenever I log in, it throws it in here. So I have to reset it, drive all the way back to my farm to pick it up. But as you can see here, we've got the universal bucket. And it is attached to what's called a front loader. Now, obviously, you go in the shop, and you go on front loaders here. The, this one's here. Uh, as far as I'm aware, they're both exactly the same. Just got different names, different brands, different colours. That's it. They do the same thing. And I went and bought the blue one because I thought the blue one looked better. Purely for the colour. Uh, but what you would do is you would attach it to the front here with the bucket. Uh, there are only Pacific tractors that can do it. So if we go back in the shop. if you, you can go over and you can select the various tractors. And it will see here that this tractor can also attach a front loader. This is the tractor here that I've got I believe. No and I've got the more expensive one. But this is the basic one you can get. 64 grand. And then the, there's a bigger one up here somewhere. This one is the one I've got, 157,000. Uh, which also can attract a tractor. It's just got more power is the only difference, I think. That's got 118. That's got 55. So double the power. Uh, so what you would do is you would attach that with the bucket and the front loader on. You would then pick up silage with the bucket. Raise your bucket in the air, obviously, and try not to drop it on the floor because you lose, you do lose the silage unless you drop it back on top of the silage. Uh, then you would take it to. In my case, I don't need to do this anymore. But if you had, say, the mixing wagon that wasn't the automated one like this, you come up to it, drop it in the back. Uh, you would have to attach a tractor to it to see the measurements. So if I get in this here, you can see the measurements, the mixing rations on the side. Uh, you'd have to attach to the trailer and it would give you the same screen. Uh, and then basically, as you can see, you need the hay to be between 30 and 60%. Silly between 30 and 60% and the straw needs to be about anywhere between 0 and 40%. So what I usually do is I usually put about... I usually pick up about 4,000 silage, which gets me to about 33% or something like that. Then I put one grass bale and one straw bale in uh, that fills this this thing up anyway, uh, and gives me the exact like 33% across all of them. And that's more or less the perfect rations that I use, cause, just because it's easier. Uh, and then you dump it into any of the trays. You don't have to do that one. You can do it in these ones as well. Just uh, drive, just reverse the. Or you can drive him forward, I suppose. Just go next to these or next to that, and it'll give you Q to unload. Uh, you click it, unload. Obviously. Um, so, yeah, so that's how you put the silage in. Uh, that's how you get the silage. So, I've shown you how to pick up the grass as well, turn it into bales. Uh, and now you can either use this tractor with the front loader, the blue thing over there, and you can put, I think there's a fork attachment. Oh, maybe there isn't. You might be able to use this. 
Yeah, you could probably use that just because of the small spikes. That's all you really need is small spikes in the end. Something like that. They may be a little too big. You might be able to do it. I'm not 100% sure. But you could do it. Actually, did that have icons? I did have icons. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, you might be able to do it. But what I've gone ahead and got is if I go... I completely forgot what category is under. Uh, this thing here. The Telehanders. Something like that. So I bought one of them for 85,000 and then I just bought the bail spike. So what you do is you pick up the bail. Uh, I can actually show you that here because I've got some bales stored. So I've got me tele Telehander here with me spike bail on the front. Go over to my bales. Now I've got mostly straw in here. I don't know if I've got any. I've got one graph bale left. Um, I suppose we can always make some actual silly, uh, make some feeding. I suppose. So you just go up to it. Forks go in. Turn it up so it's less likely to drop it. You don't have to, but makes it less likely to drop. So you go to your mixing wagon or your whatever that I don't know what that machine's called. Or it's machine equivalent. You will cup it with the bales. Make sure you're right above it. And just drop the bale in, and as you can see, I've now got grass in there. So if we go back and grab, so that was a grass bale, as you can see, it was green. Uh, straw is collected more or less in the same way, uh, but you have to get it from barley, and I'll show that to you in a second. That maybe that's what you saw on the field back there. I have a barley field there. So if I go back inside this building uh, and collect a straw bale here, as you can see, it's like a yellow colour. You can grab it at some funny angles, but yeah. But look, as you can see, it drops. So I'll see if I can throw this off. So it's easier to grab it when it's on its side like that. It's the easiest way to grab it. I've seen you can grab it when it's upright or when it's got its thicker side up, but it's a little bit more tricky. I find anyway. So if we get this up. So you kind of get the idea here. Get your straw, you get your grass, and your silage. Silly just to be used in the universal bucket, straw has to be used with a spike bailer. There you go. So now if we get out here, you can see we've got 8,000 litres full. Uh, we have 50% straw, which is too much, as you can see it's red, and 50% hay, which it says is okay. So what I do, because it's easy, because I've got this machine, this is why I use this machine, it's the only kind of real benefit, is, uh, for oh, it's because I've got that in there. Um, so I could turn on my mixer, and it shovels in some of that. So we want to just top it off here with that. As you can see, all the lines are now blue. There you go. I've now maxed it out, and they're all exactly on 33%. Turn off your mixer. I don't know if I can give these much more food because I um, recently filled it up. I think they can only hold about 17,000, I think. So as you can see, I've got my full rations here. It's the same as if you had the trailer. Just pull up next to it. Gives you the unload option. Good Q and it will flow out. Now I'm going to stop that so we can get on. Uh, what did I want to show you? Oh yeah, so I want to go to my harvester. Here. So I've got the biggest one you can get. You start off with a smaller one. But basically what you do is you plant barley on your fields. And barley is this icon here when you've got the cedar. Just look for that little icon. It will appear in this little black box in the bottom right hand side. Uh, you plant barley on your field. You then harvest it. And then if you look in the top left hand corner, there is an option on the full stop key. I think it's a full stop or is it a comma? It may be a comma, I think. Which is disable straw swath. Uh, you want that enabled for when you're harvesting barley. Because that is what leaves the, the trail on the floor. So if we go back to this tractor here. 
as you can see you've got these lines on the floor this is what leaves that behind so you obviously you get your barley and you sell your barley and you get the money from that and then this here is what you pick up with the baler the same way we did with the uh, the overturned grass and it will give you the straw bales as you can see here I've got straw bales here so you can either pick up the straw bales manually with a fork and drop them off somewhere or as you can see here I've gone ahead and bought an automatic baler a uh, bale picker, I don't know what it's called so if we go on to baling technologies as you can see here I've got the auto stack which basically what I do is I click B lowers down a little thing and I'll just drive around, drive next to the bales, make sure they're on the right hand side that'll pick them up and it'll just load them in and I can, that's how I make the big stacks you see in the thing there because uh, once it's full up you click O I can actually show you here because I've got a couple of bales in so usually I'd fill it up, it'd have 16 bales in instead of 2 uh, the little hook goes on the top slides away and puts it like on a big stack So it does that, goes into that position and then you can move it around and click O and it will drop it in a position. But I'm not going to do it because it's not full yet so I'm just going to abort it and make it go back down. I think that's everything. So we've covered how to get the grass. Uh, we've covered how to turn it into, how to turn the grass. Of to uh, we've covered how to get the grass, we've covered how to get straw, we've covered how to both turn them into bales. Uh, we've covered how to get silage, we've covered how to mix them, and we've covered how to feed the cows. Okay, so the only thing we haven't done now, I think of it, is explain how to get the straw in in there. Now this is uh, very simple, it's uh, more or less the same thing. So what you need to do, as you can see here, I have straw on the bottom. Uh, this is what you get. This is how you get the manure and get the productivity up to 100%. If you just give them the mixed rations, you get 90%, which will give you milk uh, and li liquid manure, but you won't get the actual manure, uh, which is personal. So if you don't want li uh, proper manure, you're fine with the liquid and the food, then you don't have to. So basically what you do is you take your mixing wagon or your all mate mixing wagon here, uh, you need to make sure it's empty completely and what you need to do is just put straw bales into it that's it so if you put three straw bales into it oh apologies for that uh, you will fill it up completely with straw and then this one is you have to do inside the building so if you walk if you drive your wagon in here and you click Q when it's just straw it will give you that option and it will throw the straw in here for you and you will slowly see this fill up and then that will give you 100% productivity and it will give you uh, your manure so again the straw is just the after you've cut ba uh, bailey down barley down not bailey barley it will put it on the floor and you pick it up with a baler you don't need to do anything to do to, to it before you pick it up with a baler you just go over it like you would with the grass and it will pick it up and then spit out bales when it gets to a certain amount. It has to pick up 4,000 straw on the floor before it will give you uh, the bale. And then obviously to get cows themselves, you have to go into the shop, across the animals, and then buy a cow. They are 2,500 each. They cost 40 a day to maintain. But once you've got a decent amount, I've only got about 20 here. Um, I've been trying to save up some more money to get some more machines. I've got most of the machines I want now for the cows anyway. Um, but I need some more machines for harvesting because I want to buy some fields over there to get more more ingredients for these guys. Um, it lasts... It will tell you, you can only put up to six days worth of feed in there, which I think is about 17,000. It will tell you and it will stop you from putting more feed in when you're doing it. Obviously there's the milk tank there. The milk is collected automatically um, and sells it when it gets to 10,000. Uh, the liquid manure, if we go back here, as you can see I've got a tank that's just sitting here. Uh, the liquid manure goes in here, and you have to collect it in a tank. So if I take the tractor here, 
sorry about that, Darwin. But yeah, as we can continue back here, uh, if we get the tractor out and we bring it up to the tank. Obviously we've got to line it up properly. So it gives us the attached option, there you go. Uh, and at the moment, as you can see, I've got the biggest tank here, which has to have a dolly in front of it so you can connect it to a tractor, otherwise you can just put it onto the back of the lorry. Uh, so I click G to change the trailer. And this is R to rear fuel style tank. I've got 3,000 liquid manure in there. Click R, as you can see the number goes up on the bottom right and it decreases in the fill level in the top there. So now I've got, it's called slurry, but it's just liquid manure. So I've got 22,864 liquid manure in this tank. And then you use it to do fertilizer crops and things like that as far as I'm aware, which gives you bigger harvests to get more money. So I drink that, top that back off, get out my tractor. So, and then what else is there? So. The milk, we've done the milk, we've done how to feed them, we've done how to put straw in, we've done the liquid manure. So the only one left here is the manure. So here you have manure. This builds up. This can be used to, again, put manure on your crops. But unless you've got a lot of cows, you only get a little bit, it's not really worth it. You use the same thing, you use a universal bucket in the front loader on your tractor to pick it up. Uh, and then what I've got here, this is what I've been using it on. We drive over here. I have a tomato, tomato, um, tomato plant shack greenhouse thing over here, which takes water and manure. And I've been shoveling my manure into here to grow my tomatoes and get me some money. And again, be quiet, button. Come on. Oh, I'm climbing up the walls. So it gives me like. 80 an hour and it costs 20 an hour to maintain it's 25 grand a building so it's that's why I've only got one they're kind of expensive they don't really give you a lot of money but it's just somewhere for me to put my manure because it takes too long it's not really worth it to try and do a field with it um, and there's my water tank for a water in them so I believe this is everything on the cows if I missed anything let me know if there's anything you need you feel like more that you would like to know about the cows just let me know and I'll see if I can answer it and find it out for yourselves in the inner. But until the next one, this is the tour tutorial on uh, maintaining cows. I hope you all enjoyed and I'm sure to be check out the next ones. Thank you. Bye.